Uh, my name is Bo Sampson, and uh, what I would say is this is a great event uh, for not only just people that went to Coolidge, but for Ward 4. I mean, the whole community is coming out. We're all working together, um, and I think that this is going to be something really special in the beginning of something that's going to be, uh, this is a trend that's being set that's going to start from all over the country. Uh, uh, around this whole this whole Washington DC area, this Coolidge opening is, is really special. It's a new day at Coolidge. All of the new things that are coming coming and our children oh, are coming to junior high school and we're just mixing them together, all of the children. And one thing that my husband loves is children and the education. As long as they get a good education, I'm sure he's shouting and happy. Take your name, take your name. Helen Williams. As far as Coolidge, as you see all the alumni that's out here right now, we care about our school. We love our school. As somebody stated to me, alumni got to remember that that's not their school. But whose school is it? It's not the government school, it belongs to the people. And we're going to make sure that this school is good for our kids to get the same education that we had coming up. That's what the Alumni Association is about. It's Teacher Day one more time. My name is Terry Goins, I'm president of the Alumni Association. Denise Bond, class of 63 from Coolidge High School, and love being here. What was special about? What was so special about? Oh, we had a ball. We had great teachers, and all of us used to stick together. That's what it is, and we still stick together and still party with each other. Uh, connections, not just opening, but opening possibilities. Well, you know, this is going to be a, a cluster of excellence in education. Uh, we've got Whittier Education Campus across the street that had historic games and all subgroups in math and English language arts. Uh, we've got Ida B. Wells that's opening here on this campus, and then now you have uh, the Mighty Coolies High School. Uh, we are very much so focused on uh, career opportunities for students once they graduate from high school. Uh, so we have the Academy for Mass Media here, and then Health Sciences as well. So those two combined together with our early college program in partnership with Trinity, uh, it's going to put students in a great position to go on and do well when they leave DC. You know, the, 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 the uh, team that was appointed was a group of community members, the um, Calvin Coolidge Alumni Association. I was a member of that and they brought me in as an educator. We started from scratch with uh, the funding being provided and went for four years designing and planning everything from the color of the walls to the materials. Then they added funding for the middle school. So we planned that out, planned the um, coexistence of both middle school and high school programs and the whole facility and the revamping of the um, Calvin Coolidge High School. It means a lot, especially when we can open up a $160 million uh, brand newly renovated high school right in the heart of Wolf 4. This is a big day uh, for Wolf 4 families. They are the school that waited the longest comprehensive high school for their modernization. But they were focused because they knew that every child in the District of Columbia deserves a state of the heart a state-of-the-art high school. They deserve teachers and staff that come to the school every day wanting to challenge them with creativity and love. And when they get in this school, they know that it has been worth the wait. <laughs> 